Welcome to Fine Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be firing up over here at Universal Studios Hollywood for some Halloween Horror Night updates. Let's do this. Today is August 18th. Beautiful hot day. It's already hot. <laughs> and it's only 9.30 in the morning. But it looks like it's going to be a very busy day out here at Universal Studios Hollywood. It's been about a week since we've done our last update video out here at Universal. So I'm very excited to see what has changed, what has arrived. You know, there's still lots of rumors going on of what the heck's coming to Waterworld. We got a lot to talk about. First thing I want to check on, is there any new merch? Since we got all these houses announced, no new merch. Still, still the same stuff. And I think on the other side, right around, they got Last of Us as well still. Taking a look at the wait times as of 9.37. Bam! 180 minutes. Wow. I feel like it's always 180 minutes. <laughs> That's what we're going to. No way. Studio tour, no way. That's what I'm talking about. At least as of today being August 18th, Friday, no changes happening here for Hollywood and Dime, but this is where Chucky Barbecue is going to be. Checking out the Hello Kitty store, seeing if any of that Chucky collaboration Hello Kitty stuff has arrived because that dropped in Florida, but still hasn't dropped here. Uh, one thing I did notice... I don't know if this is old or new, but first time I've seen it, Fast and Furious Hello Kitty collab. They're getting ready for the coaster. OMG, the fire towers have arrived. We will have fire towers for 2023. How freaking cool is that? And to add on to this fire tower update, which in my opinion is just as exciting as anything happening out here at Horror Nights, uh, let me show you why. Check out the ceremony. Over on Twitter, John Murdy did confirm that there will be a ceremony happening at 8 and then every 45 minutes afterward, uh, which I love. Instead of just having one, we have multiple ceremonies, creates the hype out here. And uh, if you miss out like on an early one, you still catch one later on in the night. It's so cool. But man, seeing these fire towers here makes me so happy. <laughs> um, there's actually a wall right there with some details, possibly hinting at whatever this opening scare zone is going to be this might actually be behind walls for a while at least that's that's how i'm interpreting this because now we have themed construction walls to horror nights and it says what custom dolls 20 dollars uh one of a kind creation post no bills <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, look at this. <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm just going on a limb here. Maybe these are the monsters coming to uh, this like scare zone out here. Wow, look at this. It's a monkey. That is scary. It looks like it's this one. I don't see a name or nothing, so I can't be like, oh, it's that, that doll, I guess. But wow, okay. Oh, we got more over here too. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if this will be here with Horror Night Cubs, but I don't know. I feel like an investment on these walls was like for a reason. They're probably gonna stay here during Horror Nights or at least maybe the beginning of Horror Nights. Wow, look at that. I don't even know what to say about that. Another topic of conversation with these fire towers. These are so close. I feel like they're closer than previous year. Uh, I don't know if I'm tripping on that or not, but there's not a lot of space here. <laughs> so we'll see how all this plays out. Maybe this is just like a temporary, maybe they get pushed back a little, I don't know. But man. So I had to come to the back side, but look at this one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary and then look at this one what which one i get maybe that's the bear one? Oh my lanta <laughs> this is gonna be scary 
had some time to like digest and try to understand what's happening out there at the opening scare zone where the fire towers are going to be. Uh, it looks like dolls. Uh, I, the, the question I have is why construction walls? Uh, is that project in the corner right there supposed to take a long time? I guess it is. Uh, but is there is there going to be more props to come? Because we saw on Twitter too, John Murdy was talking about the, the possible rain that's going to be coming here in Hollywood. Uh, kind of set back a little bit of the props and uh, just updates that they're trying to put throughout the park decoration wise. Because they don't want them to get damaged, which obviously that's a good thing. So I'm guessing next week, Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll start seeing a lot more props come out here uh, just to decorate the theme park as a whole for Halloween Horror Nights. But uh, I'm curious how, how they're gonna decorate dolls uh, out here at the opening scare zone. And then what is the chainsaw area gonna be uh, over there by like the studio store, like more at the entrance of uh, Halloween Horror Nights. <sighs> Man, I'm just excited. This is gonna be a great year. Uh, I've never had such anticipation for a Halloween Horror Nights like this year. For some reason, I, I just feel like the hype it is like at the highest it's ever been for Halloween Horror Nights. And the excitement, I, I, I'm at like a, a 10 out of 10. I, I can't get any more excited uh, than I am this year. Um, and I really feel like it's gonna live up to the hype this year. And I'm glad I got a frequent fear. Uh, we got a Universal Express Unlimited Day. That's gonna be a big live stream that we're gonna do here on Five Fires YouTube. And uh, I'm just ready to enjoy HHN this year. Fired up, Julian. Have a good day today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy Friday. Oh, we got the Scooby Gang. How you doing? <laughs> They're about to solve a mystery, I think. Oh my gosh, we got Shrek, Fiona. <laughs> Heck yeah. Happy Friday. Have a good day, Fiona. Bye, Shrek. Oh my gosh, can I get a high five? Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Wow, this is like character mania, Scooby Gang, everybody coming out here. This is so cool. So all these like peak holes are kind of like eye level, except this one. This one's up here. So I'm guessing this is a stilt walker. You know, it's just a guess, it's just a guess. Lots of progress happening now over here at the plaza. But at the same time, they're getting prepared because high winds uh, are on its way literally advisories and stuff going out about hurricane kind of crazy man freaking august or something like that to come but let's just hope no damage comes to halloween horror nights no damage just comes to anything here in southern california no updates to really talk about when it comes down to monstros looks to be done uh they did unveil that right there it was behind like a bagging earlier but they're starting to cover up some things because that storm's coming and it'd be sad to see any of this get destroyed or messed up. Making our way now to the end of Monstros. Here we got some, uh, like, this is going to be uh, projections and stuff that they're going to be showing for the scare zone. And then we got a whole lot of mummy stuff. Pueblo de los que no están muertos. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this is just so cool. And these are all like movies. They just kind of never ended. They just kept making more and more mummies, more mummy movies, I guess. Here we got another one. Un horror indescribible. Venganse de la, o venganza de la momia. Wow, that one looks terrifying. Here we got another one. La momia que no muere. All right, all right. Todas las nuevas emociones y escalafríos. <laughs> la momia contra la reina Escaleto. <laughs> Junior, what do you think about all this, man? Uh, it's pretty cool. I can't wait to see how it all turns out. Yeah. Once it starts, so. I, I, I hope the, the song that they play in this area hits like last year. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, we were saying uh, uh, on an Instagram live yesterday, instead of La Llorona, yeah. like how they would yell it, La Lechuza! La <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I hope La Lechuza, I know this is all mummy, but I hope La Lechuza is out here too. Yeah, Why not? I say La Lechuga, but La Lechuza. La Lechuga! <laughs> On our way to get an update of Fast and Furious, 
uh, they are clearing out big time big time they even got basement exposure over here it's just wild to see how fast they're going and it's even more wild when you look this way <laughs> holy smokes trees have been cleared out it did not look anything like this a week ago uh, so yeah they are just not messing around they even got like a track now right here wow you know, there's been rumor that this could be a 2025 thing, but I don't think so. I, I think this is a 2024. You know, thankfully Disney's not on this project. <laughs> Who knows how long it would take. But man, what, what are your thoughts on all this, Junior? Seeing uh, this construction, it's, man, it's, it's crazy. They're moving so fast. You know, they're not messing around like you said. They're not messing around. No. They yeah. want to get this stuff fast. Yeah. I have a feeling soon enough, like, you know, by the end of the year or early next year, we see, we see like roller coaster track. Yeah, yeah, that's like what I think. Like probably too. in the studio tour back there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, where yeah. There's a lot of space, you know. For sure, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't yeah. wait to see. For real. How it looks. <laughs> Man, it's just cool. Very cool to see Fast and Furious coming alive. Uh, we're gonna get on the studio tour next and get some updates. Hopefully, uh, Stranger Things out there's the doors open. But if not, it's okay. Walking over here in the Simpsons land. I always wonder how long is it gonna stay here? You know, with Disney owning Simpsons and then this Fast and Furious ride coming. What are the odds all this stays? What are the odds? One thing before we go on the studio tour is can Simpsons land, like this whole vicinity, be used for a scare zone? Who knows? But we're seeing some lighting go up. I don't think I've seen that lighting before. I think it's for Horror Nights. Only time will tell, only time will tell. I've never seen Universal this busy ever, where general admission sells out, Universal Express, Express Unlimited, VIPs, tours are selling out on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. it's just insane. It's insane. It's been, a, it's been a crazy year. And we got Horror Nights, like I'm saying, right around the corner. So imagine a sold out Universal day, with the sold out Halloween Horror Night Day and then those crowds mixing and early entry happening for HHN. It's gonna be a crazy year this year. <laughs> Art Simpson! <laughs> I haven't been in the Quickie Mart in a while. Let's check it out. There is no such thing as a bad donut. Nah, 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 there's bad donuts, sir. <laughs> Got a cool cup. Mmm, donuts. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna donut now after looking at all this <laughs> this is not a good idea what are these these tantumflas wow okay 27 bucks and we got some plushies cool bart sweater got a hat whatever a fledgling office campus and the majority of our 36 sound stages inside these buildings another the house here being built inside of this uh, tent here the, the all days from hell house all days d-a-y-z and a little further ahead stages 16 17 18 and 19 stages 16 are being got streaming series killing it with craig robinson also coming up on the right two of the biggest movie stars in the world the minions next to a sign saying Next exit. Illumination Entertainment is one of our sources of animated content. They have an office inside one of the familiar Black Dodge Charger. I see that somewhere. And lastly, a roadrunner vehicle driven by Vin Diesel as Dominic, Dominic Toretto in Furious 7. Right now. Oh, we have 12 vacancies. 12 cameras, 12 vacancies. Uh, now we're going to head up to the house. The way Vera Miles is doing here, the seat from the film. Wow, a lot of lighting. Speakers. There's the sign. Wow. From Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. Terminators with a Z featuring the exterminator, their very larva. Right now, we're going to take another look more, a closer look at the films of Jordan Peele. 
what I want to offer the audience is, is an escape from their day to day. Something about the clouds. It's not what you think. With all my movies, I'm trying to do something unexpected, impossible to do, and bring it to life. This is Jupiter's Planet, a nostalgic small time Southern California amusement park home. Over there, is that a new cue? The what the heck? Park. Picture taken just like the kids in that old that. 90s movie Kid Share. It's like an assault vehicle, and ahead of us, it does sound like there's a party going on somewhere. I am! And with that behind us, or in the rear view mirror, so to speak, we're nearing the end of the tour. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us on the world famous studio. Now the ride is done. We saw some crazy cool stuff, and we had a lot of fun. This tram has made its final stop, but don't be sad and blue, cause there's still one more thing that I'd like to say to you. Watch your step as you exit the tram, and everything will be alright. Come on, have a fantastic day, have a tram. We're on the way to the lower lot and the one thing we saw that's missing, which is extremely iconic to Universal, the Universal Studio sign right there. It's just gone. Just like that overnight. <laughs> uh, hopefully it finds a, another home somewhere here at the park. But man, these updates are coming fast and furious. One big change that it's on its way is the 80s bar. That's gonna be right there above Jurassic Outfitters. It looks like they're already constructing to bring that to life. And it should be coming to life up there too. Another update to talk about is The Last of Us right here. That looks to be the final details. I can't imagine much more will be added to this. But over there, Holidays in Hell, in this area right here, they put concrete now. So it's like a flooring that's been built. Is that going to be for a queue? So put a lot of people in that area because these are going to be very popular mazes down here at the lower lot. Or, uh, Juno was saying, may maybe a scare zone. Maybe, put in one of those two scare zones or a queue line, who knows? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll see. Only time will tell. Down here at the lower lot, we're gonna have Surfer Boy Pizza. And thank goodness, it's not barbecue. We've been having some heavy food down here, all barbecue related. So it's gonna be a nice change of pace. Uh, a lot of people are speculating. We're gonna have some pineapple pepperoni pizza down here. So, hey, I like pineapple on my pizza. I know there's some people that don't. Junior, you like pineapple on pizza? No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Here, just keep it pepperoni. Yeah, pepperoni, all right. sausage, ham, I'm okay with that. All right, all right. Like, like a meat lovers. Yeah, yeah. not pineapple. <laughs> not pineapple. Yeah, Ho hopefully we get a meat lovers down here. Also, uh, next to the Transformer meet and greet, we're going to have Studio Scoop become Scoops Ahoy. So Stranger Things just taking over the lower lot pretty much. So we're currently inside the Transformers store. Look, Transformers but you wouldn't know it because it's just like a, like a generic store now, Junior. Yeah. Look, they, they even got Wolfman figures here. They got Dracula figures. What the heck? Damn. Yeah. This is definitely uh, not a Transformer store. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah, it's gonna, a lot of people are rumoring it could be a HHN store down yeah, here. that's what I heard I, I feel like it, I could see that now. Yeah. Uh, wow, well they got a little bit of Transformers left in here, but not much. Wow. All right, well, this this will be a, a great HHN store. Why not? Here's a better look at the bar that's above Jurassic Outfitters. They got some walls going up. Not sure if that's maybe storage facility for when the bar comes and they set everything up. Or could it be photo ops? Uh, they've done Stranger Things photo ops up there. There wasn't a bar though at the time, but this is pretty cool. Uh, they've since uh, blocked it off now so you can't walk up there 
but we'll keep a close eye. We're only what two, three weeks away. It's crazy how fast time's going now, and it'll be it'll be uh, interesting to see if that side up there above Jurassic Cafe gets used for RIP because that was a lounge for RIP last year. Here's a shot from the back side of the fire towers. And as you can see, these walls have brought the fire tower out more. They're almost kind of like slanted, <laughs> but we're just glad they're here, man. And that is it for today's Universal Studios Hollywood trip. We've had a blast today. Can't wait to come back. Once we get like official scare zone announcements, hopefully more props, we get whatever's coming to Waterworld and entertainment in general. Uh, it's very exciting. Still lots to, lots to talk about when it comes down to Horror Nights, but to see all the maze facades and everything just really coming to its completion, it's awesome. We're so close to Horror Nights, I can't wait. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Not just for Horror Nights, but we're gonna keep track with Fast and Furious and whatever other updates are coming out here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Smash that like button, and thank you for supporting the fire. We are firing it down, firing it down. The Catlin' Bang is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. <coughs>